Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I solder Dean's Ultra Connectors. Very popular uh, RC connector, uh, been around for a long time. Got your male and your female connector. Uh, typically you have your male on the ESC and the female on the battery. And a lot of batteries come uh, stock with uh, Dean's connectors. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a 30 amp ESC. Uh, this one's already uh, been stripped and tinned, but I'm going to redo that process so you can see how it's done. And here is a list of equipment that I use uh, that you'll need. Definitely recommend a vise. There are multiple kinds. I use this one to do wires and small work. This is to hold the connector. Good pair of wire cutters, good pair of wire strippers, pair of needle nose pliers in case you need to hold a very hot wire, an X-Acto knife to cut uh, 3 16 tubing. I use Q-tips for my rosin, for my solder. And you'll want good solder. I like the Kester 44 Rosin Core Solder. This is in the 6337 alloy mix. I'll leave specs for it in the description. And of course, a really good soldering iron. Now, you can use uh, several kinds uh, out there. Uh, this is a very old one I've had for over 20 years, but I've taken really good care of it. And as you can see, that tip looks brand new. Um, highly recommend if you, um, you do soldering, make sure you have a sponge and also a tip cleaner. Uh, that'll make your equipment last a good long time. Oh, and then finally over here is a little lighter. So when you're sh sealing up your shrink tubing. Enough banter, let's let's solder. Okay, first I'm gonna show you how to tin a wire. It's really easy. And again, these have already been done, but we'll just do a quick repeat. Um, I use Q-tips because they're easy and simple and you don't have to buy a brush. And I just dab on a little bit of rosin to the wires, okay? And the rosin there is to clean off any debris and dirt and chemicals from the wire before you solder gives you a good adhesion okay and as my dad always taught me heat the work not the solder so I'm going to start off by heating the the wire first getting it to a good melting point and then letting the solder flow into the wire and I hope you can see this with the video but that way I'm building up the solder and then also um, once this is done, I didn't mention it, but you'll want to clean off. You can see some of that rosin bubbling over. You really don't want to keep that on there. Um, it'll it'll crystallize and, and really mess up your cables in a long time. So here's a little bitty uh, paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol and just do a quick wipe. It doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, so now our wires are ready. Hope that was easy. And now we do our connector. So here's your male connector. And when I solder, a uh, good tip is to take a, a, an unused connector and go ahead and put them together. That way when you heat up the surfaces, they'll stay true. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the connector into my vise and I'm going to tin the connectors on it. Now this is just a little weird tidbit, but I always start with the positive connection first. I'm not sure why I do that, but it's a habit of mine. And uh, I think I do that because when I'm soldering batteries, I like to make sure I do one connector complete, completely all the way and then um, sol uh, excuse me, shrink wrap the, the wire so I don't short out anything. So <clears throat> anyway, what I've done is I put a little bit of rosin on the wire, excuse me, on this connector. And I'm gonna heat the rosin up so it kind of melts away. You can see it burning off there. So I'm heating it up. I usually do it for a couple of seconds. And then I'll put the solder down underneath the tip. And as you can see, it's flowing pretty well. I like to get a, about a pea size glob of uh, is that a good technical term, glob, of solder on my connector, okay? Now, if we were doing a battery, this is how I'd continue. I'd just go ahead and finish connecting one side and, and finishing it up, so we can do that here. Uh, I can't stress enough how many times I've done this, and I hope you don't do it, but you kind of get eager once you've soldered this and you want to go ahead and solder, but the biggest mistake I see myself do, and I know a lot of other people do, is forgetting to put your shrink tubing on. So stop what you're doing and make sure you put your shrink tubing on. This is the piece that comes with the Dean's connector and it works okay, but I prefer to have a little bit longer piece. So buy yourself a whole bunch of 3 16 uh, shrink tubing and then cut them to about three quarter of an inch versus the half inch that comes with the uh, bag. Uh, I just think you'll be happier and it gives you a, a more surface area to, to tug on the wire if you can't grab the connector. So anyway, put your shrink tubing on first. Okay. 
And then also, you can see how you have the wires here. If you solder the wire like this with the orientation of the ESC, you're gonna have to twist the wire to get the negative on. So I always rotate my connector to have the negative touching, as it were, so that uh, you don't have to twist that wire. So as you can see, I'm now in the right position. Take your soldering iron, heat your work, and you can see how it'll sit up there. This might take a couple of passes, but once you get this heated up, you're gonna put your top wire on, and you're gonna sit it on there. If it doesn't start to melt right away, go ahead and reheat the uh, connector wire, and I can see it's starting to flow a little bit. One more time. Again, you don't have to rush this, unless you're in a race or something, but okay, I can, I can go ahead and see the, uh, the solder. I give my wire a little roll back and forth. Oops. Try that again. I'm going to add a little bit of solder here just to get it to flow better. Okay. Then when you lift the tip, make sure you don't blow on it. Let the solder dry for itself. Let's take a look there. Got a nice connection there. Nice connection on the side. Good. At this point, if it were a battery, I'd go ahead and slide on my shrink tubing. Then taking my little lighter, okay, go ahead and seal it. Please be careful when you use your lighter. You don't want to let it sit on the shrink tubing. Just make a couple of passes, rotate over, okay. You don't have to kill the shrink tubing. Of course, you do have to have a lighter that's working. And my lighter quit. There we go. See, this is all live, folks. All right, so that's a good connection. Now let's move over to the negative. A little bit of rosin, not a lot. Heat the connection. Add solder underneath. Build up. The solder. It's about a pea size right there. Shrink tubing. Don't forget to put your shrink tubing on. Okay. Heat the connector. Lay down your wire. You need to go pack a couple of times. Now I could heat up my tip a little bit more. I, I notice it's not melting that uh, solder on the wire as much because there's a lot of I'm getting a lot of resistance and that's also due to the connector being plugged in so I'm losing a lot of heat through the connectors there this extra connector um, but I'm just taking my time okay because there's again there's no rush and you just want to make sure you've got a good connection so let me just keep there we go now you can see it's flowing really well okay lay down there we go and then let go now it's really this wire connector is really getting hot, so you gotta be careful. And you know, if it was really bad, I'd just go ahead and switch to a needle nose pliers. But let's pull it off and look at it. Good, I got a nice joint there, nice joint there. Okay, really good. Push on my shrink tubing. Help me, my my lighter works and it does. Yay. Okay. Rotate it over. Good check there. I like it. And there you go. That's how I solder my Dean's connectors. I'll probably make another video with batteries, but uh, you don't need to watch that if you've already seen this one. And then pulling it off, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck with your soldering.